All right, well, in Montgomery County, officials say 911 call center is short staffed and receiving higher call volume than ever. Yeah, the county council getting that update during a public safety committee meeting. DC News now Sosa Fakile is in the newsroom this morning with the latest in Tosin. How much of a shortage are we talking about? Well, Corey and Tanaya, good morning. It's two parts. So overall, it's a 16 percent shortage when you're talking about Montgomery County's emergency communication center. That is according to officials. But when we're talking about the shortage with telecommunicators, those are the people that answer those 911 calls. That shortage is 22 percent. County Council also receiving an update on how quickly calls are answered, which is still within standards, but it, that number is inching up. So in 2021, the average answer time was four seconds in 2022, nine seconds in in 2023, the average answer time for a call is now 10 seconds. Officials say the ECC has been dealing with staffing shortages for a while. In 2017, they had about 15 to 16 call takers. Right now, they have 10 to 14. And officials say the shortage and increase in the number of calls coming in is now leading to overtime for staff. For the ECC, overtime has exceeded budgeted amounts for at least the past two years. And the ECC is advised that mandatory overtime is required almost every day. The chart on page four is showing they went over their overtime budget by about 19% in fiscal 23, and they went over last year in fiscal 24 by 36%. Good news. There has been an improvement in turnover and the new hire training class turnover has also seen some improvement. We are told that officials say there are 23 people being trained right now to close that gap. Now, Corey and Tanaya, officials say even though their focus is hiring staff, another thing they're looking to tackle is the number of calls coming into the 911 center. They say the calls coming in, most of them are not supposed to be coming to the 911 call center, but to non-emergency numbers. We'll look into that coming up in the next hour. But for now, in the newsroom, I'm Tosin Fakile. Back to you.